Okay, so we're doing a fast shuffle in A, and it's kind of a blues form. So we're going to pull in together a few different things from the concept section. First off, we've got the shuffle on the A string. So remember, it's triple it, 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 and we're just doing the dup da dup da dup da dup da dup da dup. So you got to generate that because really the drum pattern that we're playing over. He's got it on the ride, but he doesn't have it on the kick. So it's more it's more about you right here to to uh, to generate that shuffle. And you got to get it happening. I mean, you know, if I haven't done it for a while, it's like you got to. It's a real feel thing, and you know, using that up down stroke to get it happening. Um, other concepts we're using are the uh, fourths over that. <laughs> which is an A, a C at the 5th fret, and a D at the 7th fret, and just across the 3rd and 4th string. Okay, so those two concepts are at play. Then, also got, we got a full-blown um, dominant 7 sharp 9 chord, which we talked about, and we're playing it across uh, string set um, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you'll see it's a little dominant 7, A, C sharp, G, and then C natural, which is the sharp 9. And so that works over the A pedal. Okay. And um, it's kind of like a horn hit. So all this is like syncopated rhythms against a swing, you know, against the shuffle. So, um, you, you, you know, you might want to start slower and work your way up to this whole, to this whole thing, but it's a big combination of elements. So then, so just working through what happens in the form, we got the main riff is... <laughs> main part it's kind of a verse section then when, then the chords start changing in a blues form and here I'm using this dominant seven dominant nine dominant seven add nine chord that we discussed in the concept section here at a D okay and um, so that's you know like in a blues you go to the four chord and then we get back to the one and when I hit the one right there, uh, there's a little, uh, there's a little riffage, a little, uh, now this whole thing is, is very Van Halen because I'm doing a, a really quick choke on the chord. That, that right there, that quickness right there with the choke on the chord. That's very Van Halen, like he's kind of the master of that, you know, like keeping it short so that it has real punchiness to it, breaks up the rhythm part really nicely. Um, then the turnaround, it's not, it's not a typical blues turnaround where you just go to the five chord. I go to the five of the five chord. Ooh, it's a big, big uh, theory lesson right here, but don't worry about it. It's just a B7 chord. <laughs> before you get to the E7 chord. And then that, that's the turnaround that brings you back to the A. So that whole section right there, we're riding the A. Go to the D. Go to this little riff. And go to this B E turnaround. Okay, that's it. Now you see when I go to these chords, I just do held ones and I kind of just play boom da da. Just playing on the two and four. Playing on the two and the four is great. You know, that's kind of like 
you know, real Motown-y, old school kind of approach. So just letting them ring, playing on the two and four, and that gets us around to the to the chorus, to the next section of the song. So, all right. Uh, <laughs> So the next bit is we're repeating this little figure. It's a tricky little bit. And let's just look at it real slow. So are you catching all that? It's A, C, C sharp hammer. then the A chord, and then a hammer from the open G back to the A chord. So, sorry. Then the next bit, you hit a G, and then the chord riff. So... Those chords are D, C, A, so. Okay, that's the next section. And then the last bit is this big G to D turnaround. So it's just G, D. And then we do a little Chuck Berry thing right here. So I'm adding to an A chord. I add the E and the A on the top two strings. And I'm doing a, this is a broken up chord uh, from the concepts. Again, it's like you're adding a horn hit to it. So... Um, uh, all right, so the very last bit, we get the G to D turn around. Okay, and you can watch how I'm doing that with my right hand. Up, down, up. And that's to fit the accent. Da, 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 da. And then. Now, if I turn my pick around to get that pick slide on the back edge so that I don't mess up the front edge of my pick, and I get right back into the shuffle. I may have my pick turned around for some portion of the song. You know, but I'll just give myself a break in there and turn it back around. You know, anywhere in there you can just turn it around so that it just saves you messing up the pick. Um, uh, so pick slide to bring you back around to the top and then you're back in. So let's just look at the whole form again. I'll just make sure I, because there's a ton of concepts in here. So uh, shuffle. And we got broken up, pedaling off an open string with the fourths. D7 chord. That quick choke on that chord. Thank you. 
that's pretty much it. So there's a lot of stuff going on there, but it's a really fun one if you get it together. But you got to get your, your shuffle feel happening, and there's a lot of concepts for building into a performance like this. So have a good time. <laughs>